Hello, my name is Jeff Raffoff, and I'm one of the pastors at West Lawn United Methodist Church. I serve along with the Reverend Chris Hardy and a wonderful staff, some of which you have heard from during these morning uh, or daily devotional videos. We are honored to bring to you some, uh, some devotional thoughts based on some hymns, hymns that you have suggested and a few hymns that we may have picked for ourselves. And that's the one I'm going, what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, you get to pick a lot of hymns, and, uh, and obviously some of you have really enjoyed this as viewership of these daily videos has gone up significantly since we've begun uh, these past couple of weeks talking about the hymns of our faith. But uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, one of my favorites, and it comes from the United Methodist uh, Book of Hymns, or the United Methodist Hymnal, and it's found as number 89, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. I found these words about uh, this hymn. It was written by Henry Van Dyke, uh, a Presbyterian minister, writer, and diplomat. I sort of thought that might be appropriate because this was actually the hymn that Cheryl and I chose uh, for our processional hymn in, the, in our wedding 40 years ago. We just recently celebrated 40 years and, of marriage and uh, got me to thinking about this. Uh, on our anniversary Sunday, August 23rd, we actually sang this tune, uh, different words. We sang, Sing with all the saints in glory. Uh, it's number 702 in our hymnal, but it's also uh, the hymn to joy tune. Anyway, Henry Van Dyke, Presbyterian minister. We got married in a Presbyterian church as my wife was Presbyterian. Uh, Henry Van Dyke, a Presbyterian minister, writer, and diplomat, wrote this powerful text which combines three themes, the work of God seen in nature, the love of God seen in God's giving and forgiving, and the joy of love for one another to which God calls us. Now, I never really thought about it at the time. I've loved this hymn for a long, long time, but over these past couple of years, we have made an effort, a specific and intentional effort, to, uh, to emphasize what we believe God is calling us to. For 20 years, we've been talking about inviting, embracing, and empowering, and I still believe that. Uh, that is the vision we have for our church, uh, living out our United Methodist mission of making disciples for, the tr uh, making disciples for Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world, and uh, our vision to uh, how we live that, that mission out uh, by inviting, embracing, empowering all to be the family of God in Christ. But for these past two years, we've been emphasizing as, as our church and quite honestly, our society has experienced a lot of turmoil and a lot of strife and a lot of division. We've been emphasizing the things that I believe are so important to us, so important for us, if we as Christians are, one, to be a faithful witness to God amongst ourselves, and two, to be a witness to the rest of the world. The three things we've been talking about are loving God, loving one another, and loving our neighbors. We can find abundant references to each of, for each of these in the scriptures, but I've been pointing to Mark chapter 12, where we are called to love God with all our heart and soul and mind and strength. And John 13, where we are told uh, that uh, he, Jesus has a new commandment for us, to love one another. And I believe that's a call to love within the body of Christ, to love our believers, other believers. We don't... That sounds like a given, but, but friends, let's be honest. We don't do a good job of loving one another. We nitpick and we criticize and we harp on the differences instead of lifting up the things that should unite us. So we believe in loving God, loving one another, and then jumping back to that Mark 12 passage again, Jesus said, and a second commandment is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love God, love one another within the fellowship of the body of Christ and love our neighbors. I think this hymn speaks to all of those. As it says, the first hymn, or the first stanza, is about, um, it's about the work of God seen in nature. Well, when I see the handiwork of God, it stirs me, it stirs my soul, it drives me to worship, and it makes me want to love God all the more. And then it talks about the love of God seen in God's giving and forgiving. Uh, the love of God that is extended to those of us who have called upon Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We're called to love one another. Uh, 
And then it talks about the joy of loving, of love for one another to which God calls us. Because uh, our love is not to be contained only within the body of Christ, but we're called to love our neighbors, even those we don't know, even those we may never come to meet. We're called to live in such a way that we exemplify love for other people. Anyway, all of this, those first three verses, it's summed up in the fourth verse, which, uh, which contains these words. Let me read straight from the hymnal, if I may. Mortals join the mighty chorus, which the morning stars began. Again, talking about that majesty of the creation of God. Love divine, God, is reigning o'er us, binding all within its span. There's a chorus we used to sing in church, uh, uh, especially in another church. But anyway, uh, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Anyway, uh, it continues, ever singing, march we onward, victors in the midst of strife. We are victors through Jesus Christ, even in the midst of strife, in the midst of financial strife, in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of racial strife, in the midst of political strife. We are victors in Jesus Christ. Ever singing, John Coakley, I hope you like that part. Ever singing, march we onward, victors in the midst of strife. Joyful music, joyful music leads us sunward in the triumph song of life. Friends, I believe there's so much to be gained by the singing of the, the great hymns of the faith, as well as the, uh, the stirring and moving uh, new songs that are being written for organ and piano and guitar and drums. I believe that uh, music of all kinds can stir us to, uh, to a joyful experience as we celebrate the presence of God in our lives. As you sing, joyful, joyful, we adore thee. The next time we get a chance to do so, I hope you'll remember that we're called to love God, love one another, and love our neighbors. Friends, I wish you a joyful day, and may God be with you till we meet again.